and this is a Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get to it. Problem: Solve dy by dx plus y by one minus x into square root of x equals to one minus square root of x. Solution: Given differential equation. dy by dx plus y by 1 minus x into square root of x equals to 1 minus square root of x. Consider the given equation as equation 1. So the given equation is in standard form of linear equation in y form. Right, we know that. The standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. So we have the quotient of dy by dx is 1. The given problem also the dy, quotient of dy by dx is 1. And by comparing these two, we can say that the given equation is in linear form or which is in, which is linear in y by comparing these two again we'll get p and q where p equals to 1 by 1 minus x into square root of x and q equals to 1 minus square root of x here p and q are the functions of x now we need to find the integrating factor to the given equation We know that the integrating factor of linear equation y is given by e power integral p dx, right. So we'll use this formula to find the integrating factor to the given equation. So before finding Integrating factor will find integral p dx is equals to integral of equals to 1 by 1 minus x times square root of x into dx, right, left, square root of x equals to t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x, then we'll get d by dx of square root of x equals to d by dx of t. Ready? We can write square root of x as x power 1 by 2 since square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2. And also we know that x power n for less, that is derivative of x power n is n into x power n minus 1. Then this becomes 1 by 2 into x power 1 by 2 minus 1, which is equals to 1 by 2 into x power half minus 1 is minus half, right? Is equals to 1 by 2 into, we know that x power minus n equals to 1 by x power n. Then we can write x power minus 1 by 2 as 1 by x power 1 by 2, which is equals to 1 by 2 into we already have 1 by x power n equals to x power minus n. Then we can write 1 by, sorry, we already have a power 1 by 2 is equal to square root of a. Then we can write x power 1 by 2 as square root of x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. Equals to dt by dx. Then, take this dx to LHS, you will get 1 by 2 root x into dx equals to dt. Okay. So, if you know the formula of derivative of root x, then you can write it directly instead of solving all this. Okay. Fine. 
So in the integrand we have 1 by square root of x, right? We don't have any 2 here. So let's take this to 2, RHS, then you'll get 1 by square root of x into dx equals to 2 dt. Now it's easy to replace 1 by square root of x into dx by 2 into dt. Fine. Now. We also need to replace this x, right? See, we are having square root of x equals to t. Now, square on both sides. Then you'll get square root of x whole square equals to t square. Since square root of x equals to x power 1 by 2. Since square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2, you can write square root of x as x power 1 by 2 whole square equals to t square, right? You know that? a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n. Then you can write x power 1 by 2 whole square as x power 1 by 2 into 2. That is m into n equals to t square. The 2 gets cancelled. Then you'll get x power 1 equals to t square. That is x equals to t square. Now it's easy to replace x by t square and 1 by square root of x into dx by 2 dt. Okay. Let square root of x equals to t. Then 1 by root x dx equals to 2 dt and x equals to t square. So now let us let's replace in integral p dx. This becomes you can just write this as 1 by square 1 minus x into 1 by square root of x into dx is equals to integral 1 by 1 minus replace x by t square into Replace 1 by square root of x into dx by 2 dt. So you can take this 2 that is constant outside the integral. Then this equals to 2 into integral 1 by 1 minus t square into dt. Since we know that integral 1 by a square minus x square into dx equals to 1 by 2a into log a plus x by a minus x. So, just write this one as 1 square and compare, compare both the integrands for a equals to 1. You can apply this formula. This equals to? 2 times 1 by 2 into 1, 2 into log for a equals to 1, you'll get 1 plus x by for x equals to t, okay? 1 plus t by 1 minus t. This equals to 2 into 1 by 2 into log 1 plus t by 1 minus t. Here 2 gets cancelled. This equals to log 1 plus t by 1 minus t. Since square root of x equals to t or since t equals to square root of x. So let's replace t by square root of x then we'll get log. 1 plus root x by 1 minus root x. So therefore, integral p dx equals to log 1 plus root x by 1 minus root x. Right. Now coming to the integrating factor. Equals to e power integral p dx is equals to e power log
1 plus root x by 1 minus root x. Since we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x, then this becomes function of x, 1 plus root x by 1 minus root x. So, this is a integrating factor. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in y is given by y times integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Right. Now using this formula we will find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is y into integrating factor 1 plus square root of x by 1 minus root x equals to integral q for q equals to 1 minus square root of x into integrating factor 1 plus root x by 1 minus root x into dx plus c here 1 minus root x gets cancelled this equals to integral 1 plus root x into dx plus c this equals to integral 1 dx plus integral square root of x into dx plus c. We know that square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2. And also integral 1 dx equals to integral dx. Then this becomes integral dx plus integral. We can write square root of x as a, sorry, x power 1 by 2 into dx plus c. This is equal to, we know that integral dx is x plus integral x power n into dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1, right? This formula is applicable when n is not equals to minus 1. Here we have n equals to 1 by 2, so this is applicable. So now for n equals to 1 by 2, we will get integral x for 1 by 2 dx is x for 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 by 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c. This equals to x plus x for 1 by 2 plus 1 equals to take LCM. 1 plus 2 by 2, which is 3 by 2. 2 x power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 plus c. x plus 2 by 3 into x power 3 by 2 plus c. Therefore, y times 1 plus root x by 1 minus root x equals to x plus 2 by 3 into x power 3 by 2 plus c is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.